Thank you, Mary Magdalene Nakesa. And President William Ruto was on Thursday honored with the highest award in Comoros. Ruto was given the Grand Cross of the Green Crescent of Comoros during the visit to the island. Alongside holding bilateral meetings, Ruto attended the 48th anniversary of the independence of the Union of Comoros, where he announced that citizens from Comoros will soon enjoy visa-free travel to Kenya. He also called on African states to empower the Pan-African Parliament to manage key affairs of the continent. The head of state announced that Comoros University students will now study in Kenya at the same cost as Kenyan students. Here is more. <laughs> Kenya stands with Comoros as a proactive collaborator in these endeavors, including the facilitation of people-to-people -people exchanges, promotion of investment, and sharing of experiences in sustainable tourism practices. I congratulate my brother, President Azali Osmani, for graciously accepting the immense responsibility and momentous mandate of the AU chairmanship for the year 2023. Mr. President, my brother, you have made the Comoros the first island state to assume the leadership of the AU, our continental governing body. This is a highly exemplary achievement that will give confidence to all the people of Africa irrespective of whether they come from small or big states. I take this opportunity to reiterate Kenya's commitment to support you, Mr. President, and the Union of Comoros as you lead the African continent to greater heights and confronting the people's day-to-day -day challenges. I am very proud, Mr. President, that, that Kenya had a small role in making sure that Comoros takes over the responsibility of the leadership of the AU and making history as you have made. Kwa heshima ya ndugu yangu rais wenu serikali ya Kenya itawapatia scholarships mia moja kwa watoto wa kutoka hapa Komoro. <laughs> na vile vile kwa sababu ya undugu na urafiki na watu wa Komoro vijana wenu wanafunzi wote wanaosomea Kenya Sasa watalipishwa kama vile wao ni wa Kenya na sio wageni tena. More than ever, we must embrace African solutions for African problems. We must understand that when we talk about African solutions, we are also talking about actual capacity to develop and execute high quality ideas, concepts and strategies that will liberate our people in diverse spheres including food sovereignty, financial independence, economic freedom, innovation and freedom to imagine. Kwa hivyo ndugu zetu wa Komoro mnakaribishwa Kenya.